So, you've seen the thumbnail, you know it's a build, and it's all probably in the title. Uh, but, we're doing a build in the Zelman H1. This is a full tower case, don't mind the dust, I've had it lying around for a while. But, um, yeah, this is a full tower case, uh, Zelman H1. I, you, I had my own build in it, took my own build out of it, uh, had, some, had some motherboard problems. Can't build a computer after computer selling it, and you've seen those. This is the next one. Since I've taken a build, put a build in, and taken a build out, now I'm going to put a build in for good. This is going to be sold. We don't know who to, or we don't know uh, how long it'll take to sell, but it will be sold. So, for other parts, we have an Asus M4A7LT MLE. This has uh, an AMD Phenom X6 1055T in it. I'm not going to take it out of the box yet. I'm going to wait till I have enough space uh, until I'm actually prepping the motherboard. But yeah, so that's motherboard and CPU. Uh, for graphics cards, we have the MSI Twin Frozer. Try and get this. There we go. MSI Twin Frozer R9. 270x it is the 4 gigabyte edition uh, so this will be cool to use it and uh, yeah so that's for graphics card let me just put it down stay uh, cooler uh, arctic freezer a11 that's all I can really say about it I don't have any experience with it but um, from all the reviews I've seen and how popular the arctic coolers are as far as i know it's a very good cooler three three copper heat pipes on that and um, let me see for power supply we have uh an aerocool integrator 750 watt power supply this is a semi-modular uh 80 plus bronze no Cool integrator mod XT 750 watt. Uh, for the front fan, since this case no longer has one, uh, I got the Phoenix Spectre Pro white LED fan. This case originally comes with blue, but but that doesn't really matter. We could we could have changed that if we want. Now, um, RAM eight gigabytes of HyperX Fury. This is 1866 MHz. Uh, probably the best price performance DDR3 RAM you can get, at least for where I am in the world, which is Ireland. So we buy all of our stuff from the UK. Uh, storage. So for storage, we have a Samsung 2 terabyte hard drive. Don't know the actual model name. You'll see the model there. that down here if I can. there we go you stay too and we have a Kingston 120 gateway SSD and I as far as I know let me check because there are, are a lot of parts here um yeah that's all the parts we're going to be using in this build now it's time to prep the motherboard and again if you hear well not again because I haven't said it yet but uh, if you hear my voice for some reason I woke up this morning and I was losing my voice so if it sounds different oh we get some thermal paste from the guy we bought it off that's nice of him uh, yeah so for some reason I'm losing my voice don't know why don't know how it's probably just magic and that's all that needs to be said uh, I always do that. Now, I always put the motherboard box away when I don't actually need to. Now, this is a Micro ATX uh, motherboard and it is going in a full tower. So, if it, if it looks a little bit weird, that's why. But um, it'll perform perfectly fine. And here's our AMD Phenom X61055T. True 6 core, which means there are, are actually 6 cores, not uh, 3 cores and 3 logical. Uh, and yeah it's clocked at 2.8 gigahertz can be the turbo clock is 3.3 .3, if I'm not mistaken so yeah we're gonna prep this get everything in like round and stuff and yeah so 
let's do that. Okay, so I've rubbed the CPU down with uh, some rubbing alcohol. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna install the RAM in the cooler. Put the RAM in first. First, I have to actually get it out of its pocket. Okay, well I've got it open. Let's just move those away. <laughs> And uh, so yeah, let me just put the scissors away that I did not use to open the packet of RAM. So these retention arms are already down, but uh, usually they be like that. You're just gonna pull them down and slot your RAM in, just like so. Very very easy. Just line the notch up. The notch on, on the on the motherboard. It's all. It's actually impossible to put the round in the wrong way. There we go. That's our round itself. Easy as that. Now cooler. You have your warranty guide and your manual and stuff like that. I have no idea what's happening downstairs. It sounds like it sounds like a lot of things are being thrown around. And here we have yeah, I'm not gonna take it off here, but there as you can see, there are three little copper heat pipes that go around and make one well, three little copper slabs that are used as one. So there we go. You see the very, very weird kind of fan design? And yeah, so how this installs is we have to take these these off, and I'm gonna take them off off camera. But uh, the the back plate stays on, and then we have these little brackets. They'll go on in place along up here with these. Okay, now time to put in the cooler. Put on the cooler, I should say. So you get these little washers with it. They go there so that it can properly clear the CPU. And then we have these, which will go that way. So I'm going to take one, put my screwdriver, screw, and just Just start to tighten it down and get the other screw and tighten, tighten this one down. And now the other one. Okay, now I'm gonna put the cooler on. Now, if you see the way this is gonna go on, you have these two holes and you have these two places for screws to go. So it can either go on this way or like this, to, like there, or like that. Now, as you can see, the, the I/O is here, so you're gonna want to put it on this way, so that it comes out. This it comes out, and then the exhaust fan brings it out. So that way. Um, speaking of rear I/O, uh, we we got this motherboard and CPU secondhand, uh, and well, it seems like the person we bought it off has somehow overlooked the uh, the IO shield so we are going to actually order one god knows when it's going to get here it's from the Netherlands um so yeah that's a bit of a setback not really though but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the cooler now so take the lead if I can <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna take the fan off right now because we're gonna need to take it off to put it on properly. That wasn't meant to happen. 
Yeah, all you have to do is put a take a flathead screwdriver to it and just pry it. Don't pry it too much, as you can see, it'll just plop onto the desk. Uh, so take off your plastic. Sit it there. Now, that don't want that. Um, it comes with uh, some compact, some thermal compound. I think there's a cat somewhere in another room. That's what it, that's what the noise was. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open this if I can. I use the scissors just because it's a bit hard to just pull over. over. Oh. Open. I can't speak right now for some reason. And now there you go. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna just use a little plastic bag that we got with the the CPU cooler. Some screws came in it. And I'm going to just spread this across all three of the heat pipes. I'm not touching it with my finger. Try and get all the all the coverage I can. There we go, that should be good enough. I'm actually gonna put there's still a little bit left in this, so I'm gonna put it on the CPU. And then that that should spread out once I put the cooler on. So just do that. Okay, what is happening right now? You don't want to cooperate. I'm going to just do this side instead. Hopefully that'll work. There's that side in. And then put this one in. And I'll switch the other screwdriver. Then my hand's shaking. Now, now where is the CPU fan? It is there. So I can only. The, this can only go on one way. Okay, so again, I'm just going to explain that the fan is here. So that means air is going to be coming this way, through. Exhaust fan will be here, exhausting out. Air is going to come straight through. Cold air through, hot air out. Simple as. Now I have this routed from here around and back I'm just going to plug that in there and it looks really really nice actually oh yeah perfect nice so I'm going to put in the front fan uh, so here's our bit phoenix uh, Spectre Pro. I'm going to take off the side panel just for pure convenience. 
It is a bit dusty because we haven't had it lying around for a while. I'm sorry, getting in the way of the camera now, but I kind of have to. As far as I'm concerned, cases where you have to pull off the front panel, it really is not the nicest design. A, because some cases, like this one, it's really hard to get it off. Okay, well, we finally got it. It's very hard to get off. Let me close over this door real quick. There we go. Now, take this out of his box again. Fat head of Tomolex. Um, Here we go. Here's a jump. It's a jumper for the LED fan. So you have that in the fan. The LEDs will be in the entire time the computer is on. You can use this, and you can in, you can connect it up to like your uh, your hard drive LED. So that means the LEDs will go with your hard drive LED, which is kind of cool. And I'm not going to untie that yet. I'm gonna get my screws that I need. So front fans in. Uh, I have to say it kind of looks like it was made for this case. It fits in there perfectly. Like I know most, I know the fan before was meant to go here, like screw in this way rather than in this way. But it still looks basically perfect. Uh, I was thinking, am I going to connect it up to the uh, to the fan controller that's at the top, or will I connect it up with Molex? And considering that it's an LED fan. Uh, and also because I want to get as much air in here as possible, I'm just going to connect it up with Molex. And then I can just bring that out and connect it up wherever. So yeah. So now it's time to put uh, all our nice hardware in here. Get, our, get all of our stuff installed. Basically finish off the build, obviously. Um, so yeah, let's do that. So as you can see, I have the power supply in. These are untwist tied, and I have them pushed through this rubber grommet. So I'm gonna, I'm only gonna worry about these two cables for now. Uh, I'm gonna route these up. Uh, I'm gonna get one or two cable ties out of out of the box of cable ties. There's two. This would be enough for this one. I'm gonna bring it. I think just. Just up, put the cable tie through here. If you're asking why it's green, uh, don't ask because I just haven't had green ones. I could use yellow or red either, these are just the ones I picked up. Get that hair out of there. And then I move this fan cable, it's, a rear, it's the uh, exhaust fan. Just about this up and out the top. This is like the only problem working with such a big case. I'll show you this now in a minute. There's that. Yeah. Day. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Don't you dare go back through. There we go. Um I believe this is the right one. Go, that's that in. I can pull that a little bit tighter. That doesn't look too bad. And now if we bring it around yet again. Yeah. 
put another cable tie through this one here. Just means I can keep it pretty much straight. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if I do this, Excuse my coughing, I'm a little bit sick. But, um, yeah, so. Now, yeah. I have the scissors. <coughs> I think I have something caught in my throat. One second. <coughs> so, our 24 pin. Uh, I was originally going to go in here and then in. But now I'm going to go through, if you want to go around to the front to see what I'm talking about. I'm going to come in here and then put it around. Just because I don't want to have, if you see there, I'm going to have to do a full 180 in. But here I can come across and then it'll look a little bit a little bit nicer. Um, also the cable won't be under so much strain. Like, rather than 180, it'll be a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer. So that's my plan anyway, I'm going to cable tie this up now uh, and I'll come back to you when I have it plugged in. Okay, so as you can see that 24 pins in, let me just cut the cable tie. There we go. And uh, yeah, so that's um, that's these two cables managed and I think uh, they're done pretty well. I'm happy with how they turned out. I kind of wanted to try and... Uh, Kind of out cable time myself uh, than I have before, and so far we're on track. Okay, so it's the uh, it's the next day. We had to it was getting late, so we kind of stopped for the day. Um, so we mount our SSD here. One of about three reasons: one, it'll fill up this space here; two, because it'll look really nice in the window; and three is because we'll get some LED light shining in here. Excuse my voice. Uh, so we have our PCIe bracket here. Now we're gonna put we're not we're gonna put them back in but uh, we're we're actually gonna buy some white paint at some point soon. We're gonna spray them white and have all these white except obviously for the two here for the graphics card. And uh, that's mainly because all the fans are white, the ones up here as well. And uh, even the LEDs are white. So, um, yeah. I think it'll look cool. It'll create a little bit, bit of contrast. And that is, that is kind of the theme of the build. Okay, well, as usual, in Ireland it's raining. So, we're now in the shed, which is very, very cluttered, sadly. But uh, we're going to spray paint these. So we have our white spray paint here. It's actually for cars, but it's metal, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a coat on the side of these. I mean, there's not a lot of room here.
they're all sprayed on one side, that's the first coat. Uh, we're going to turn them over, do the first coat on the other side, turn them back over, do the second coat, and so on, so on. So, we're just kind of prepping the, uh, the hard drive. So, this, as you know, since it is a hard drive, it is a three and a half inch size. And we're going to put, put it in a five and a quarter inch bay. And, as you can probably tell by what I just said, three and a half inch is smaller than five and a quarter inch. And that is exactly why we're putting these kind of spacers on. Now the reason you see this rubber around here is that's to stop vibration. So if I lift this up now, I should be able to just oh whoops, sorry camera lapse, didn't mean to hit you. We put the hard drive in the bottom one simply because it was uh, it was easier to get to actually get it to stay in. Uh, I don't know, we were able to kind of like help it balance a little better. Anyway, now we're going to connect up all, all of our saddle leads. And now I'm going to dig it up and just put it out like this. Now the one that's going to go to the two terabyte. Again, I'm going to like to get it. Put that in there. Bring it up. Uh, go out here. <coughs> and I'm going to go here. If we can just pull this a little bit tighter. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, well, uh, my goal was to have as little of the cable as showing as possible, and they did a pretty good job. Uh, they're both tied at the back now, so they're not going to move. Uh, as you can see, I have one SATA power for the SSD out. Um, I just have to get one. Whoops, I have to get one for here. So yeah. Here's our SATA power for our two terabyte. Here's our Modex connection. I'm just going to put this in here, like so, bring you up the back. If I can fit all these connections through. There we go. There goes the screwdriver. If I can get this just to go in. There we go. Now we can just uh, try and manage this and this cable a little bit better. There we go, that doesn't look too bad. So here's a bit of a recap on what we've done. So we have motherboard, everything's in the motherboard obviously, coolers on, that's in the case. Uh, we have our PCIe brackets. Uh, the first coat is drying, we're going to put another one on. Uh, rear I.O. plate, that's on order. Uh, it should be here the next day, but considering it's near Christmas, it might take a little bit longer. Uh, we have our hard drives in. SSD mounted there to make it look interesting, because we don't want just a blank space. And we are just to put the, uh, the graphics card in, also we have our fan on. So yeah, the only thing we have to do now is put in the graphics card. It's so... Uh, we don't have much left to do with the build. 
Uh, I just want to show that I have been doing some cable management along the way. Now I know, I know it's not the greatest, but it is quite tidy. And we have this because this motherboard doesn't actually have USB 3. And we are, we have ordered a, a USB 3 to USB 2 adapter, which will work. So I just have these tied up in a loop so that you can bring it out and put it wherever you want. Turn this around again. It's a heavy system. You can see I have the USB and the HD audio in. All those. Everything's looking reasonably clean, I think. Before I continue with anything else, I'm just going to put the front panel on. Slide this up. And. There we go. Now. That's just for added airflow. All the air can come in there and there rather than just around. Okay, well, now I'm going to. Put in the graphics card. Uh, here we have our modular cable. So I'm going to tie this. Now we're only using one because, as you can see, it has two connectors on it, and this graphics card takes two six pin. And that should be plenty long enough. Yep. Now I'm only using one, and I'm going to see how it looks after. And if I want to use two because if you can see the red on the power supply, it's a little bit overpowering. Then I might use uh, two. But for pure, for pure convenience, I'm going to use the one and then see how it looks. Just leave that hanging out the, out the side now. And now, give me a second, I'm going to turn the case on its back. Okay, so. Uh, First of all, the PCIe brackets, they're actually drawing. They're going to be going in now soon. Uh, first of all, let me just get this in the right position. It's a very heavy card, I have to say. There you go. And then just make sure it's properly seated. Now just let me screw this in. Okay, so there's the uh, the graphics card screwed in and everything. Now I just have to connect up the the, uh, the power connections. So I'm going to turn the case back over. My graphics cards after adding quite a bit more weight to it. Put the dummy out of the way. Now. Let me see, where do I want to bring this in? I'm thinking bring, just bringing it in uh, here. Have it come across and in. So give me a second to cable tie this up and make it look neat. So here are our PCIe brackets. They turned out pretty well, I think. I'm just gonna put them in. Let me just get a screw. So PCIe brackets are uh, they are dry two coats of white paint and I have to say they turned out pretty well I really like how they look they um they definitely they definitely like make the case look a little bit better give it gives it like another kind of burst of life because before it was just all black and it was a kind of a bland case that really makes it look different. 
I like that. It goes with the white fans, the white LED fan. It's cool. Okay, well, the panels are on. And I have to say, this looks really good. The long build, take a long time. Uh, but it's my first real real chance of uh, modding, if you want to call it. Painting those PCIe brackets. First time I've worked with the uh, with kind of a, another high end graphics card. The art, first time I've, I've worked with something over three gigabytes. Uh, so yeah, it was definitely a um, a fun build. I enjoyed it. Uh, you can see the lovely set seven fifty watt power supply. The SSD that turned out better than I thought it would. Better than I thought it would. Nice MSI logo there. You can see everything you want to be able to see. Now, just time to press the power button. If I had the power supply turned on. There we go. Okay, well, I'm going to turn off the lights and turn on the, uh, turn on the computer so you can see the front LED. So, wait a second, it's going to get a bit dark. There we go. Now, just... And if you want to, you, you can control the top fans with the fan controller and then turn them off. Pretty cool. It was a really, really fun build. I, I enjoyed this a lot. Uh, 